So when people are vibe coding, they always assume that AI knows best and that human development practices are not the way things need to be done. But one case where this is definitely wrong is with complex applications that has a front end, back end, and maybe an AI component. So let's say I have a front end that I've written in React, and I've got a back end that's written in .NET because that's how I communicate with my databases. And then I've got this really cool Python application that goes off and it communicates with the LLMs through the SDK. Now, in a human development team, you would those would be broken up into three separate projects, and those product teams would communicate through something called an API contract. And an API contract is basically an agreement between the teams and how the data is going to be communicated. So each team doesn't need to know how the other teams operate. They just have this contract that says, hey, this is how I'm going to ask for the data. This is how you're going to send the data. So the React would talk to the .NET using this, the agreement with, that's in the API contract. The .NET would talk to the Python Fast API to talk to the LLMs using the API contract. So when you do this, create separate projects for each of the modules and then one of the first things you do is you have the LLM develop this API agreement or this API contract so you know how these project modules are going to communicate with each other. This is going to save you a ton of time just like not asking your front end developer to suddenly start programming in .NET or Python when all they really know is React. This simplifies the project. It also makes the context work better. It makes the LLM's program better. This is just a human technique technique that is just way better for the LLMs to use. So when you're structuring your vibe coding projects, just structure it as multiple projects with API contracts if that's the type of tech stack that you're using.